but it was almost just like something was like standing there like watching me sleep. There were shadows walking under my door. Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel, if you're new here, hi, hello, my name is Loey, and I'm so sorry for the lack of videos for the last two days of not vlogmas, because I never said I was doing it, because I was afraid this was going to happen, <laughs> but I have been uploading pretty much every single day. Long story, super short, um, I'm going to explain this in a different video, but I was just getting really sick of sitting inside in my videos. I... I'm not a person who does well when I sink into such a mundane routine where it's like I'm going to my office every single day and filming and then editing and then putting up like these same stories over and over and over again. Well, not the same. I love doing those videos, but I wanted to kind of get out, adventure, do some more fun things. So actually something you guys have like to look forward to is the fact that I decided to go to a haunted hotel in Augusta, Georgia. So I had done that and I was having so so much fun with it and I got like three amazing videos out of it my experiences were crazy and I was like you know sometimes I miss Loie the beauty guru sometimes I miss doing morning routines and hauls and like get ready with me's and so I decided to venture once again out of my comfort zone and I came to a place that my brother and I have been coming to for years and years and years, which is Helen, Georgia. So it's like up in the mountains. I decided to rent this cute little cabin and I had no plans <laughs> of like filming anything paranormal because I had just done paranormal videos. Like I had just done a spirit box session at a haunted hotel. I had just had all of these crazy experiences. And in no way did I come here thinking to myself, I'm renting a haunted cabin. But somehow, where there is a will, there is a way. And of course, as I feel like I always do, I have a crazy freaking story for you. Um, I have only been here for two days. I brought my dog, Maka, with me. Me and Christian and one of my friends were all just kind of staying here and hanging out. And none of us have slept through the night in the last like 48 hours that we've been here. So let's start off when I got to the cabin. Um, basically when I first got here, it's like an Airbnb rental and immediately when I got in, I just felt kind of like a, ooh, like a, almost like a tightness. I don't know if you guys ever feel like that when you walk into a place and you just sort of get a vibe from the minute you enter it, but that's literally how I felt. I literally, just the second I walked in, I had kind of a strange vibe, but it was huge, it was beautiful, it was exactly what I wanted for this little mini vacation. The minute I got here, I was just, you know, organizing out my stuff and getting ready to go to sleep because for some reason, your girl is on an abnormally healthy sleep schedule. Hello, I've been going to bed at like, 10 or 11 p.m. and waking up at like 7 or 8 a.m. Like that is so good for me. This is the girl that like nobody texts before noon because I just like I, I stay up until like 4 in the morning and then I sleep or I'll stay up all night and like barely nap during the day. So I feel very like I don't know just like I have my whole life in order <laughs> because my sleep schedule is normal um but anyway so the night that we get here I'm just sort of setting up and I didn't I felt a little bit weird but I was also just sort of like everything that you walk into you feel the vibes of so it's probably just you know leftover energy of someone who stayed at this Airbnb before you wasn't that concerned wasn't that worried um didn't feel like I really I, I don't know. I didn't feel that worried about it. I can't emphasize that enough. And then that first night, um, I don't know how to explain it, except I woke up out of a dead sleep, like went to bed at like 11 p.m. maybe. That's if I'm being like generous, if that makes any sense. It was like I thought I went to bed at like closer to 10, but I woke up out of a dead sleep at like 3 a.m. on the dot. Could not go back to bed. Did not know why. Maka was sleeping at my feet. Everything was silent around me could not figure out why I woke up out of a dead sleep. Went to the bathroom, everything was fine, but I just felt a little bit unnerved, which usually, I, I don't know, like I don't if I just wake up in the middle of the night, like I probably had to pee or something. And I couldn't go to sleep 
for like another 30 minutes. So it was like I was awake until like 3.30, 3.40, something like that. So I finally go to sleep and then I wake up again at four. I didn't know why I had woken up at the time. I didn't know what I had felt, but I felt like something. And so I woke up again, was just feeling like, oh my God, like why am I awake again? But once again, whatever, just went back to sleep. Like all day yesterday, I was trying to get ready and I was doing a morning routine. Like literally Loey the beauty guru was trying to like film a cutesy little morning routine and Everything I had brought and organized so perfectly was nowhere in sight. It was like my tripod clip I would find in like Christian's room where I never took it. My cell phone disappeared for hours and hours and hours and was just sitting on the kitchen counter later on. It was like I couldn't get anything done because it literally was as if somebody was taking my stuff and like hiding it from me. And it was just a giant game of hide and seek the whole day. Now I'm a train wreck, like 98% of the time, but this one time I knew that I had such a limited amount of time to film, to do any kind of videos or anything, because most of what I wanted to do here was explore, be a tourist, you know, enjoy the cabin, enjoy a little bit of time off, but also work and film and take some good Instagram photos and so on and so forth. I could talk for hours. So was just feeling very, again, didn't think it was paranormal at all. It was just like, why is everything within my grasp just like disappearing? Just like the weirdest stuff, like the most, bizarre things that don't seem like a big deal but over time I was like this is getting kind of weird like nothing was where I put it my purse just disappearing for no reason at all and then I would find it in a place I could have sworn I already looked but I'm also so unorganized 98% of the time so I just blamed it on myself and me being forgetful and that pretty much was until last night and last night I don't even know how I got like a few hours of sleep. So again, went to bed pretty early for me and didn't feel abnormal, didn't feel anything weird. And then once again, woke up in the middle of the night at 3 a.m. I can't blame that on an earthquake. I can't blame that on, you know, having to miraculously pee after four hours. I didn't have to go to the bathroom. I just woke up out of a dead sleep, could not go back to bed. And so I am just like laying there, staring at the ceiling, Maka's snoring beside me. And I have to say, I was probably just laying there for like 20 minutes. Like I eventually, you know, went onto my phone when I realized I wasn't gonna fall back asleep straight away, was just scrolling through Instagram and stuff. And all of a sudden, downstairs, so the way that this um, cabin is, is where I'm sleeping, there's like a loft upstairs, and then the living room is downstairs, kind of directly below the loft. The sun just went out, I'm freezing now. Oh my god, I have to wrap this story up. <laughs> but there's like so much to tell, so I know that's not gonna happen. I, again, upstairs in the loft, the living room is downstairs. Suddenly, out of nowhere, I hear powering on. And I'm just like frozen. It was like this like woman's voice saying, powering on. And I look down just over the, you know, over the bed and the TV is turning on. Okay, like what's that about? Mock is in bed, snoring. Like she is out like a light. My brother is not down there. I can see like the couch basically. If I just sort of sit up in the bed and I look down, I can see the downstairs of that area. No one is down there and the TV just turns on. So I'm just sort of left like unsure of why the TV turned on in the middle of the night when everything was like accounted for. I, you know, I can't explain that enough that like nobody was there and the remote was within sight and nobody just ran by the TV and then, you know what I mean? Like it just, the TV just came on. I felt uncomfortable. Um, but again, not like, oh my god, it's a ghost, you know what I mean? And that was until it was almost like something caught the attention of the corner of my eye and I looked to the corner of the loft that was just pitch black and I just felt like a bad, weird, heavy feeling. It's not even that I saw anything in the darkness. I'm sure if I had looked long enough, I could have probably made out a shape or something like that. But it was almost just like something was like standing there like watching me sleep. And I just had this really uncomfortable, like unsettled feeling. And so I didn't even want to get out of bed because I just felt so like almost like frozen in place. You know what I mean? And again, this isn't like sleep paralysis. This isn't like I've talked before about like having experiences where I don't even know if they're real or not. Cause it's like, am I still asleep? Like, you know what I mean? And this time I had been awake for like 20 minutes. There's just something in the corner of that room, just making me feel very, very uncomfortable. 
And that's when I hear a woman's voice again coming from the TV saying, volume up, volume up, volume up. And long story really short, when we first got here, the TV wasn't doing that. It was not on a setting where it like made noise when it did like commands like that but it was literally like someone was sitting there like pressing up on the volume over and over and over again and i wanted to go downstairs and like go unplug it or something but again just that like feeling from the corner of this room i literally felt terrified to get up and run past it so i'm just laying there in bed completely frozen eventually one of the volume ups scared maka so bad she like jumped out of her sleep and was like looking around the room and that's when i knew it was like real because she looked into the same area of the room, like the same corner, and started growling at nothing. That's kind of when it was valid for me and not just like my imagination and like nothing happening, you know what I mean? So I got really freaked out when she started growling and then she was just laying in bed like growling in that area and then after like a minute or two of this, cause the volume eventually stopped going up and up and up and nothing was playing on the TV. It was on this like loading page, but it was like someone was sitting there and volume up, volume up, volume up over and over and over again. And so she eventually kind of stops growling. The volume on the TV stopped going up. I jumped my happy butt out of bed ran downstairs, unplugged the TV because I was so freaked out, didn't want to know what that was about, and wound up sleeping on the couch. And I don't even know why that made me feel safer because that's literally where the TV was going up and up and up. But now I'm just so curious because it's not that like, you know, this isn't like my craziest paranormal experience or anything. Um, sometimes I feel like I don't talk about these things that happen to me because it's like I've talked about like TVs being thrown at me and like crazy stuff like that where it's like nothing really tops that. So it's not that this is like insane. It's just that there is something here and I almost feel like this is like a vacation home. It's not like, I know it's owned by people, but it's managed by a rental company on Airbnb. So part of me almost wonders if the former owner died here and is like, you know, like, this is my house kind of thing. Um, I don't really know what to think, but right now I'm kind of thinking I have the place until seven. Christian and I are going to go on a hike with a friend of ours and... I think after that, when I come back, like before I completely pack up, I'm gonna try to do a spirit box because I still had my like ghost hunting equipment in my travel bag from when I had literally gone to Augusta like a day before. So I'm wondering, do I just try it? I'm so nervous as to what would happen just because like my last experience you guys will see was such a good one. It was not like a terrifying one. It was just, it was like chilling. It, it was so real and so, you guys will see when you see the video. But this one, I'm just a little bit afraid of whatever was in like the corner of that room. I don't know you guys, I think I'm gonna try to do a spirit box when I get back. Uh, that being said, I think I'm gonna go <laughs> take a hike now, get away from this house for a bit, um, take the dog out, but I thought I would tell you guys about this crazy experience. And apparently the crows wanna chime in too. I was just talking to Christian about this video and how I was just so surprised I even had to film it. I had briefly told him I was gonna do it and I was telling him, you know, I don't know if I wanna come back after we're done hiking because we pretty much packed up and just do a spirit box or anything. I don't know if a lot of that was in my head and then he told me something that I kind of thought you guys might be interested to hear. When I was just laying in bed that, that you know, last two nights, yeah. there was a lot of creaking and I was like, oh, it's fine, it's just, yeah. you know. Lauren's upstairs, just, you know, it's, it's just yeah. a little creaky, it's fine. And then I would see like shadows walking across like under the door and I was just like, hmm, like I'm bad, but I always try to write it off when I, I know it's like, there's something going on. Yeah, I mean, um, and like, I feel like you're the last person on earth to validate yeah. anything like that. So I feel like that's sort, sort of a thing where it's like, when you agree that something's a little bit off, I'm like, oh my God, but you heard the TV last night. Yeah, I you don't said. Think, I don't, yeah, yeah, like I heard the TV like come on out of nowhere, yeah. it was really weird. I, I never even knew it was off right until i came back <laughs> my verdict i don't think there's anything necessarily malicious here yeah i think it's again like that whole echo thing where it's just kind of energy left over from yeah. people's past lives or even people that are still alive it's just leftover yeah energy from them you know it's kind of what i told you guys i almost feel like if it was somebody who is here it's like the former owner of the cabin because once again like we leased it through a rental company so it's like i mean obviously it's like owned by somebody but like 
I don't know. That's the only thing that I can think of is it's like their house and they're just, you know, going throughout their night, like walking to and from the bathroom or like turning on the TV and like, you know, maybe like I was telling them that I felt something weird upstairs and like maybe it was just like, you know, somebody looking at me like, why are you in my house? Let me show them that little smiley face on the wall. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Oh, good call. Oh yeah, apparently. I was gonna completely forget about the smiley face. So this is the living room, by the way. Um, you can see my bags up here, but then this is the loft area. Yeah. So here, let's go up there and we can show them. <laughs> Stop. Okay. So literally we were up here last night. Christian was like checking out this bed that's up here in the loft because yeah. it's so sit on that. It's so hard. <laughs> Isn't that insane? Mm. <laughs> it literally is like they put the box spring down. We were over here and I said, Christian, look at that look at that face in the wall. And I'll kind of show you what I saw. I saw eye, eye, mouth, random eyebrow. But what Christian saw was eye, eye, nose, smiley face. And it looks very malicious when you look at it that way. It's definitely super freaking creepy. Yeah. See, all I see is like eye, eye, mustache, I know, yes. <laughs> but when you when you say it like that, and it's like that, it's it's definitely weird to say yeah. the least. So here's the bed. So like this is kind of the edge of it. So if I sit up, I can clearly see like the beginning stages of the living room, and then. I mean, there it is. Christian was banned from upstairs because last night, we had gone to an arcade last night and like we won a ton of tickets, yeah. Really and if you're ever in Helen, definitely go to the arcade and mini yeah. golf here. But he got this like bow and arrow set yeah. and he basically from here stuck three of them to that window <laughs> right there. <laughs> And we couldn't get them down. And so we had to throw a dog toy over yeah. and over and over again until we could get it down. And I got them stuck there last night. They were still there after 10 hours. Yeah, that was pretty intense. 100 tickets, guys. I mean, that's a steal. Yeah, uh, the craftsmanship. <laughs> I, I mean, know. wow. Also, so here's the corner of the room from the bed. So basically, I was like right there. And that's where... I felt like something nasty. Okay, you guys, so I just got back from a hike. Uh, the park closed at like five, so basically I was planning on being back here around 7 p.m., so it's still, there's still like a little bit of light, but I mean the sun will be down within like the next 10 minutes. So there's like a baby bit of something if you feel like it's a little bit light out, but I promise you, it's not that bad. Um, that being said, I have to check out of this cabin soon. And I thought while it's not like 3 a.m. or midnight or completely pitch black outside, I would still try the spirit box. And I have like weird anxiety over this. Like almost didn't want to come back and do this. Just after what Christian told me about feeling like somebody was walking around in the cabin all night. And like now my sort of theory that it might be the former owner of this place. But I guess we're going to get started. So, okay. I feel like because I'm in the middle of nowhere, maybe I might need to raise the antenna. I heard something right when it kicked on, but now there's like nothing. I heard a hello. Is anybody there that wants to communicate with me tonight? Am I it like barely talk? I have like chills all over my freaking body. Ooh, I don't know. I feel really like choked up. I don't know. Oh crap, I'm gonna stop talking. My name's Loie and I've been staying in this cabin for the last couple of days. I was wondering if there's anybody here if they'd like to speak with me tonight before I leave. Oh, I have chills. If you'd like me to leave, I'll happily get out of your space. I just need confirmation from you. What is it? Or if you'd like to communicate with me, I can stay and talk to you for a while. Was this your house?
I can imagine if it was my house, I'd want to be here too. It's weird that you keep looking up there because that's where like I keep like, oh, I don't know what that was. I just feel so unsettled about like that area up here. Freaking me, dude. I have a. I. I don't think this is bad. I just have like the weirdest feeling. Woo! Okay. Calming down, settling. Okay. I don't know if you're the former owner of this house or who you might be. So do you think you could tell me your name? Or why you're here? Is there anything you'd like to tell me before I turn this off? I just heard I don't know. I'm. I really hope I didn't just hear the word that I thought I heard. My heart is like freezing. Do you hear that? There's like something like stomping around up there. I'm gonna turn this off now. I don't like. This is so weird because I. Felt kind of weird last night, but something, I swear to you, unless it said something different in editing, I just heard the word murder. I don't know. I just think it's weird that like I, I keep looking up there and then as it said that word, I heard like stomping sounds upstairs. And I mean, there's no one in here anymore. Like nobody is in here anymore. Just me and <laughs> emotional support over there on the couch. So... Did you hear that? Okay. My heart's like racing. Um, TLDR, I'm not really loving the way that this feels anymore. I wasn't like too uncomfortable and now it's not even that I think it's anything bad or like demonic or anything like that. I think it's just somebody who like this is their house and they just don't want me here anymore. So I'm gonna take that as my cue to go. Thanks for watching. I love you so much. I'm not going to do a whole outro because I want to get the heck out that door. I will see you in my next video. <laughs> Bye.